we're going to discuss today the possibility of using adult stem cells for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes occurs initially because tissue becomes resistant to insulin. So the body needs insulin so that it can uptake glucose, sugar. And in a lot of people who are diabetic, and well in all the people who are diabetic, and type 2 diabetic, initially the tissue stops responding to insulin. The pancreas makes insulin after a meal, for example, but the tissue stops taking up glucose in response to the insulin signal. As a result, the pancreas starts to make more insulin to overcome the initial resistance. At a certain time point, the insulin made by the, pan the pancreas cannot make insulin, and the cells in the pancreas responsible for making insulin because they're overworked, they start dying. Now, after this, the patient becomes dependent on insulin from exogenous sources. But because the insulin from exogenous sources, like taking the insulin shots, uh, is not biological, it, it's, it's in spikes. It's uh, all of a sudden you get the insulin, flood the body with insulin, and then the, there's no more insulin. Because of these spikes in insulin concentration in the blood, what happens is the body starts... Um, degenerating, certain aspects of the body degenerate and you get secondary complications such as peripheral neuropathy, um, vascular disease, endothelial cells and the blood vessels don't function properly, then you get heart disease and, and um, uh, peripheral artery disease and also you get kidney failure as a result of uncontrolled diabetes. So how can stem cells work to solve this? Well how they can work is number one Stem cells inhibit the mediators that cause insulin resistance. So, for example, one of these mediators is called TNF-alpha, tumor necrosis factor alpha. And it's been demonstrated patients who are type 2 diabetic have a lot of TNF-alpha. And the amount of TNF-alpha in the plasma correlates with the extent of insulin resistance. Now, Stem cells, mesenchymal stem cells, specifically can shut down TNF-alpha production or control it. Uh, here is a publication where you can see uh, the LPS is administered in vitro to cells. So MSC means mesenchymal stem cells. Uh, the mesenchymal stem cells don't make TNF-alpha. TNF-alpha concentration being on the y-axis. Uh, when you give it to DCs, dendritic cells, the LPS, you get TNF-alpha. And when you mix the DCs plus the mesenchymal stem cells, the bar that says DC plus MSC, you can see there's an inhibition. So we know that from this data, but from many other publications, that the mesenchymal stem cell can inhibit this inflammatory mediator. Now, the next question is, if you inhibit insulin resistance, what about the main problem of the pancreatic cells being dead? Well, there's publications showing that stem cells, adult stem cells, actually can become pancreatic-like cells. So here's a publication in which the, the y-axis represents insulin and the x-axis represents glucose concentration. So glucose was given to mesenchymal stem cells that were treated to become similar to pancreatic cells. And as you can see, the mesenchymal stem cells are producing insulin. This is in vitro. Now, what about in vivo? Would something like this work in an animal? So here's another experiment where the investigators destroyed the pancreas of mice using a streptozoacin, which is a, a toxin. It's a, it's a chemical that kills uh, beta cells. And as you can see in the controls, on the left-hand side, there's little insulin production. This is in vivo. Um, and when you added the mesenchymal stem cells, you can see more insulin production. So we know that the two causes of diabetes in the progression, the, the insulin resistance and also the pancreatic cell death, can be overcome, at least evidence suggests that it can be overcome, by the use of stem cells and mesenchymal stem cells specifically. The next question is about the secondary complications we talked about, peripheral neuropathy. So we know that stem cells can help regenerate neurons. We talked about this on our cell medicine channel here on YouTube. Now, there's also publications which suggest 
that administration, at least in animals, of stem cells can decrease pain, neuropathic pain. Uh, this publication here by Cla uh, Klaas et al., you can take a look at it. And also there's reports from clinics who have used stem cells that stem cells have an effect on neuropathic pain. The other secondary complication is peripheral artery disease, the endothelial dysfunction. And this happens because the endothelial progenitor cells, the cells that make new endothelium, they're in very low concentrations in the blood of type 2 diabetics. And if you use stem cells, bone marrow stem cells have a high concentration of these cells. And you can see on some of our other videos here on the Cell Medicine channel that administration of bone marrow can help increase vascular endothelial function. Now, the other main complication is kidney failure. And as you can see in this figure, um, mice were induced to become diabetic by streptozoacin, and the kidneys were examined for inflammatory macrophage infiltration. These are cells that come and cause inflammation. And as you can see on the left-hand panel, the green cells, these are mice that were diabetic but did not receive stem cells. In the middle, you can see there's no green cells. These are mice which were diabetic but received mesenchymal stem cells. And on the right, you can see, again, uh, normal mice, no green cells. If you can't see it too well on your computer, you can look down um, where it's quantified. The number of infiltrating macrophages in the mice that received the, um, the um, streptozoacin alone have a high number. Mice that received mesenchymal stem cells have low number of these inflammatory cells, and control mice obviously don't have any. So the point is here that the mesenchymal stem cell and other types of stem cells, adult, these are all adult stem cells, appear to have the ability to help both in the, stop the initiation of diabetes, the insulin resistance by inhibiting inflammation, appear to have the ability to regenerate pancreas, so to help uh, make new insulin producing cells, and appear to have the ability to control some of the secondary complications of uh, type 2 diabetes. Now, as you scroll through this uh, YouTube channel, the Cell Medicine channel, you will see a lot more publications and discussions around these topics. Thank you very much.